Konnichiwa everyone and welcome to Tokyo Otaku Mode's official YouTube channel. I'm Jen from Tokyo Otaku Mode here for a snack tasty! Now I like to consider this video a little more educational than some of the other snack tasting videos you might find on YouTube because I'm here to give you a full explanation of what I'm actually tasting. Today we're going to feature Dedum Ototo. Look at that smiley whale on the package right there. He is looking surprised and also delicious. I remember these from my childhood. It was back in 1981 they first had these Ototo packets out for kids to enjoy. And I remember them as a kid, enjoyed them. Salted snacks, they're kind of like the goldfish crackers that you might had as a kid as well. Because I know that from when I was living in the States. And on the package right here, I'm going to give you guys another closer look, you can see the many marine biological creatures that are going to be assorted inside this package. Hold on to your butts because we're going to open and have a taste of Ototo. Very nicely packaged little wrappers right here. Two of them, in fact. I'm going to go ahead and open up one. Neatly packaged, just like how Japanese people want it. Open that up. Bink. Ah! My. Cho oishi. Very very tasty. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. And they do have different types of flavors as well. And not only marine creatures, but they also have some woodland critters, just like the ones right next to me on the left side of my. Shoulder. Hi guys. None for you, all for me. Mm. I am honestly happy because this is really, really tasty. I cannot recall these guys being so good. No, oh, I'm gonna have to stop here, see if I can locate a rare marine creature. Because what they do in these packages is they include some that are not usually listed on the outside box, you might find yourself something that doesn't resemble anything and it could be a surprise. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a plate to dump this all on and try to find the most rare sea creature inside the Ototo package. Marine, a creature. That was terrible of me. So here we go, we have a nice jumble assortment of creatures from the deep blue. I'm gonna try to find the rarest of them all. Uh, here we go. Let me just go ahead and give you guys a tour of all the creatures that are here. There's a hole in that, but that's a tuna, a puffy starfish. Here's a little crab, long squid, shrimp. Mmm, shrimp. Sea urchin. It's an octopus. Ooh, look at that. Folks, I think I found what I was looking for. That there, I have no idea. I have no idea what that guy is supposed to be. He looks like a, uh, he's definitely a crustacean. I'm looking at it from every conceivable angle, but I cannot fathom what he's supposed to be. Looks like a looks like a pickaxe, or a or a spine, like a spinal cord. Got way too biological. But we are looking at marine biology right here. So there you have it, guys. My final verdict on Ototo's snack is going to be D, delicious, A plus, because. Man, these guys are good. Nicely salted and it has that aerated crunch to it. Really, really enjoyed it. And I did find a rare crustacean looking marine creature. So that's a good find for me. Hope you guys have fun. I had so much fun doing this and I am very, very satisfied in terms of palate as well. Look out for more videos on YouTube. I'll be back with more snack tasting videos and maybe something else as well. Go ahead and let us know in the comments below what you would like to know and what would you like to see from Japan because that's where I am. 
Thank you guys again. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel for more updates from Tokyo Otaku Mode. And I'll see you guys again later on. Bye bye!